Each year, the lives of thousands of people from across the world are put in danger, forcing them to leave their home and their country. The UK is one of many states committed to helping those struggling to survive. In 1996, these guys from Rwanda, they came killing people, slaughtering people, raping people, pounding babies in mortars, which was really scary. The Gateway Protection Programme is a programme which is run jointly by the Home Office and the UN Refugee Agency, and it resettles up to 750 of the world's most vulnerable refugees each year in the UK. For example, living in war-torn countries for years or being in refugee camps for decades. When we left the refugee camp, we were very happy to move to Europe because we're going to live in peace without fear. So we had this opportunity of coming in England and we just couldn't believe it. It was kind of a miracle, I can say. I want to work hard so that I improve my life and become a British citizen. Gateway refugees on their arrival to the UK get 12 months assistance which is fully funded by the Home Office. That includes things like um, helping them with immediate urgent needs when they arrive in the UK, um, helping them access public services, taking them shopping for the first time, um, health, education and for example helping them enrol on English classes. When we came, everything was new as I mentioned before. Food, weather, buildings, people. It's not easy for people who are brought from the refugee camp to, to get in the system with, without the gateway protection program. You just need someone to tell you where to start something, someone just to let you know that you're not alone, yeah? Even, 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 even if you have to be independent, but still you have rights to have someone to tell your worries and, you know, what you think and your thoughts about things, your opinions and someone to give you value as well and to understand. A longer term, we really want Gateway refugees to be fully integrated in their local communities so that they can contribute to UK society both culturally and economically. I just think I'm blessed. <laughs> sometimes I just think it's not a chance, it's a blessing, you see. Sometimes you just wake up, you have a shower, you make breakfast, you know, and then you go to college. You never imagine you could have such a life, such a calm, you know, peaceful life.